We're at Van Wert High School. This is game two of the Division VI District Semifinal. Our matchup tonight, the number nine rated Crestview Knights and the number two team in the state of Ohio, the St. Henry Redskins. My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to do play-by-play. -play. Mr. Dave Bowen. Dave, Crestview comes in. They are 19-4, 7-0 on the season. Champions of the NWC. Had a really good year running into a St. Henry team. They had an outstanding year, 57 and 21 in all sets. As you said, conference champions, Addie Figley, the player of the year in the Northwest Conference, Tammy Gregory, the coach of the year in the Northwest Conference. They do come in with Addie Figley as the player of the year, 407 kills for her, but she's also got a really fine setter in the form of junior Emily Lickley. Yeah, Lickley had to step into that role after following all everything. Callie Gregory from last year, and she has done an outstanding job. And the neat thing about this match, Crestview's last loss is to St. Henry back on September 28th. Since that time, they are on a five-match winning streak. That was a 25-17, 25-18 in a tournament at Crestview that they played in that day, correct? Yes. All right, so St. Henry then, they are number two ranked in the state. Trisha Rosenbeck's team's had a really good year, 19-4, 8-1. The only lost in conference play was to the undefeated Coldwater Cavaliers. Have a little synopsis for them tonight. Well, St. Henry, they just are so fundamentally sound, Mark. I'm so impressed with this squad. As you said, runners up in the MAC with an 8-1 and one record, and they did an outstanding job early in the season, set tone right away when they beat New Bremen at New Bremen 3-0, finished number two in the Division VI state poll, and their last loss was also on September 28 at that Lady Night Invitational to Ottawa Glendorf. They, as well, are on a five-match winning streak. They also have a very talented setter and a second-team all-conference player, Laura Tiemann, and Lauren Tiemann, and also a couple of big hitters, First team all conference, Ellie Follenkamp at 5 uh, 6 1, and also Morgan Bomber, who's a second team all conference, also first team all conference player. Yeah, Morgan Bomber, she packs the most power with the body that she has, the punch. It is really impressive to watch her uncoil. She really explodes through the volleyball. Casey Gregory has those same traits for Crestview. It's going to be fun to watch those two at the net. The winner of this match will play undefeated Coldwater in this gymnasium on Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. You will also be able to see that on WSN Thursday night. Dave and I'll be back with the first set coming up right after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Van Wert High School. The starting laps have been introduced. The match presenting sponsor is the First Federal Bank in Van Wert, your community and your bank. And our premier sponsor tonight for the Crest Unites is Cary Insurance in Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. Mark Shine, Dave Bowen. Dave, we talked about setters. We talked about hitters. Reese's teams has very talented liberos, too. Emily Klein, who wears number four for Crestview, and Raya Busher, who wears number zero for St. Henry. Yeah, Raya Busher, one of the best liberos, if not the best, in the MAC. She's a first-teamer, and Ellie Klein, also a first-teamer for Crestview. The Klein name at Crestview just seems like it's <laughs> been around forever on both the boys' and girls' side of the ledger. And Busher, obviously, <laughs> that is a name, not only yep. in St. Henry, but in all of Mac country. Our R1 today is Beth Edwards, R2 is Dan Cook, and our two line judges are Dan Minnick and Lindsey Tim, and Raya Busher will serve first for the number two ranked St. Henry Redskins as they play the number nine ranked Crestview Knights. Libero to Libero. And the opening service will be a point for Raya Busher as she gets an ace. Her 18th on the season. But, yes, we had our first match tonight in the district semis. Coldwater winning. I hope you brought your appetite because we got two main courses with these two matches this evening. Our ace sponsor this evening is Burke Petroleum. There's a set out of the middle. Ellie Follenkamp. And the 6'1 senior puts the ball away for her team. It's 2-0 on the kill. 268 kills on the season for Ellie. She leads St. Henry in that category. Six overall in the MAC. Busher serves again. Here's the set from Lickley. Got hit by Gregory. Hit off the block that time by Molly Wendell. Here's the setter and... Follenkamp on that side. 
That was not Foley Camp. Miley Kramer. Yeah, that was Kramer. Thank you. Yep. 52 kills on the season for her. Crestview starts with their hitter, Addie Figley, in the back row. They're going to have to get her rotated up here quickly. St. Henry going to run away and hide, if not. Tipped over. Busher gets to that one. Here's the set by Tiemann. And that one's put away. It's 4-0 right out of the shoot here for St. Henry making a statement. Ellie Fullenkamp with kill number two in the early going. Laya Busher will serve again. She has served the first four points of this match. Left-hander floats it over. Set. Gregory hits, and Casey gets it long. St. Henry does a nice job. Bomber pulls away from that, and Tammy Gregory, she's going to take a T.O. That she is. We're going to take a break also. It's 5-0 St. Henry right out of the chute. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our A sponsor this evening is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. And on our Lodix Jewelry scoreboard, very quickly, St. Henry up 5 to nothing. hence the timeout from the Knights. Yeah, Coach Gregory, they knew this, but Coach Gregory reminding her girls, this is big girl volleyball, got to be ready to go. Busher hits it over. This will be set by Klein. And what do we got? We have a St. Henry Redskin in the net. Looks like number five, which will be Ellie Follenkamp. And if you're a Crestview fan, you take a deep breath right there. You're on the board. Now get your footing with Casey Gregory behind the line. The sophomore will serve. Teeman will set. And right out of the middle, Ellie Follenkamp uses her 6-1 height to go up and hammer one down. 6-1. Camp just having her way at the net here in the early going. Crestview not able to get a block up, and when they do, it seems like she's just going over the top of it. The net and the block, just a formality for Ellie Fullenkamp. Freshman Addie Homan serves out of the middle. That hit was by Haley McCoy. Molly Wendell hit that one. And kind of a little... Funky type play, Dave, but Crestview gets the point out of it. Yeah, Addie Figley gets the kill. Emily Lickley set her up. Not, Figley was not quite where she wanted to be on the outside, but she adjusted accordingly, and with the changeup, Crestview gets the point. That'll be an ace. Chalk that one up from Josie Kowicki. Cool. Burke Petroleum is our ace sponsor this evening. Kowicki with 20 kills. What you will rarely see with Josie Kowicki is the ball going out on her service. To the middle of the floor it goes. Wendell will hit this one. It's blocked at the net, but it will fall on the side of Crestview. Haley McCoy was there. And Haley McCoy's going to have to step up. She leads Crestview in blocks with 59. Molly Wendell just blasts that one through. It will be... St. Henry's turn to serve. Klein goes a long way to get that one. Slide play. Point, Ellie Fullenkamp. 8-3. Crestview's going to have to get the cell phone out and find an answer for Ellie Fullenkamp. The slide play, very effective, as you called it, Mark. Brianna Mangin will serve again. Set to the middle of the floor, Figley hits, and she scores. 8-4, St. Henry. Just what the doctor ordered if you're a Knight fan. Add, Addie Figley on the front row. You'll see Emily Lickley go to her early and often. The only problem is, is that St. Henry defense will adjust accordingly. Fallen camp out of the middle. Woo! She is dominating this match right now. She's getting some great sets from Lauren Tiemann. And she is dominating right now. Yeah, she is the definition of a blitzkrieg right now. Lightning war from Ellie Fullenkamp. Olivia Gast has entered to serve. She has 27 aces this season for St. Henry Redskins. Set. And what do we have? Ball was hit outside the antenna. 
10-3. Coach Gregory's going to talk to our officiating crew and see what they think of it. Little communication, see if we have a replay. But we're going to stay with it. Now you see the, the captain for Crestview, Eddie Figley. And we are going to call a replay. We are going to call the replay, yeah. Get it right. That's the idea. Line judge met with our R2 and agreed it's going to stay then at 9-3 St. Henry as gas serves again. Set to Figley in the middle, and she just tips it over this time and gets a point. That's one of the things, again, these MAC teams, they're used to the ball coming at them fastball style, and if you can bring the change up and then make them adjust and then come with the heat, you can be very effective. Addie Figley with her third kill. And she will serve. Set, slide, kill. Carly Busher. Third on the team in kills for St. Henry. Make that 138 on the season now. Lauren Tiemann will become the next server. Lauren has 40 aces this season. That was hit by Kennedy Kreider. And trying to get to the back corner and missing is Morgan Bomber. Great read by Ellie Klein, the libero for Crestview. Let's that one sail by, and it is wide. 10-5 as Emily Lickley takes her turn to serve. 18 aces for her this season. And she will chalk up a Burke Petroleum ace. Yes, make it 19 now for Emily Lickley. 10-6 on the Loudix Jewelry scoreboard. Float served in the middle of the floor. Busher gets to it. Woo! Morgan Bomber's turn to score. That's what I said. Morgan Bomber, she packs a punch. Put a radar gun on that one. No defense by Crestview could stop that. Morgan Bomber's turn to serve. Jump serve action from her. Set will go cross court. And out of the middle, another kill to the back row by Carly Busher this time, 12-6. Crestview's going to have to transition from defense to offense much more effectively. They're not getting much on their kill attempts. Nothing St. Henry hasn't seen. They've got to bring more pack or more power with that punch. 12-6, St. Henry. Opening set. To Klein. Lickley will set Figley from behind the 10-foot line, and she missed. Brought more power, just sailed it long. 13-6. Coach Gregory doesn't want to, but she's got to be thinking about using that second T.O. Float served in the middle of the floor. That sets to Kennedy Kreider. And behind the 10-foot line, ball's blocked in the net by Kreider. That's blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds. Kill attempt by Casey Gregory. Yeah, give Gregory the kill. That's her first of the set, 151st on the season, number two in that category for the Lady Knights. Is this Nevea Ross, Dave? Yes. She came in there. And there's another one that put away. The, the net play has definitely gone the way of the team wearing red and white. It has. Carly Busher with the slide play. Crestview gets a hand on it at the net, which they've got to do more of with their blocking, but it does still fall harmlessly on Crestview's the side. left-handed Raya Busher serves. The set goes to the middle of the floor. Busher gets to that one and makes a good pass out of it. And then it's saved over. Gregory, Casey Gregory. As we said in the pregame, Casey Gregory and Morgan Bomber, they are almost like clones out there. About the same height, 5'5 five, five and 5'6", five, respectively. Casey Gregory will serve for the blue-shirted Crestview Knights. And taking that straight down to someone named Ellie Follenkamp, who's had a tremendous opening set. Absolutely. That one she directs, stays on top of the ball, just pushes it to the front left. Addie finds Holman's the wood. Turn. Yep. Yeah. 
Good serve. Klein sets up Lily Best. Scored that point for her team. It's 15-9. That's a, her 105th kill on the season. Lily Best, a junior. Coach Gregory talking to her on the sideline right now. Kowicki serves. Molly Wendell's turn to score. 16-8. Lauren Tiemann just doing an outstanding job as the setter, utilizing all of her weapons up there on the front row. Fullen Camp with six kills. Busher with three. Wendell with two. Brianna Manchin serves this ball out of the middle and got it in. Addie Figley picks is, up yeah. her fourth kill. She led the Northwest Conference in that category. And as you mentioned earlier, the player of the year in the NWC. Ellie Klein. Busher will be the setter this time, and the ball is hit over by Bomber. Just dumped over and a point. Give that one to Emily Lickley. Great decision by Lickley right there. Crestview's been playing three hits all night long. She goes over on two, catches St. Henry, not ready for it. Out of the middle, Bomber, but shot's blocked by Figley. How about Busher? Figley again. And what? We're gonna call Kennedy Kreider in the net. Yep. On the free ball. She had a couple blocks in that series. Doesn't feel like she hit the net. But St. Henry's going to take the point. Its momentum was trying to shift just a little there, 17-12. Olivia Gast, junior, will serve. Lickley will set again. Figley out of the middle, tips it this time, and they keep it alive. Great effort on St. Henry's side of the net. And Figley again. Kennedy oh, Kreider, Kennedy Kreider yes. Me, yep. That's her 112th kill on the season. She's third in that category for Crestview. Cuts it to four, Mark. The Lady Knights stabilizing here a little bit. That ball's blocked at the net. Busher free balls it. Back set, hit Kreider, dumped over by the setter. Great put play by Busher. Bomber hit that one. And then missed. What a rally that time, and Casey Gregory missed the back line. Just by a couple of inches. I believe our replay will show it's a two inch and a quarter out of bounds play. Our cameraman, Jacob O'Neill, <laughs> looking at me like, ah, no, no, Dave, that's not going to be the case. 18-13. <laughs> Great volley, a momentum volley. And there's an ace. Give that one to Lauren Tiemann as she gets a Burke Petroleum ace. And we will get another timeout from the Crestview Knights. They trail a loud extremely scoreboard, 19-13, set one. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard today brought to you by Loudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. And that scoreboard shows Sir Henry 19 and Crestview 13. David started out with a 5 0 run from Busher. It's kind of been back and forth since then. It has. As we said, Crestview sort of stabilized, got their feet under them. But right there, Coach Tammy Gregory had to take another timeout down six here in the first set. In this series, since 2010, St. Henry holds a 6-0 advantage, and that one's gonna go long. Crestview would like to break that streak. Olivia Gast missed the back line with that. Serve, and so her team will still be up by five as Emily Lickley will serve. To Busher. Morgan Bomber to hit the floor. 
I think it did. Got to the floor in front of Ellie Klein. Makes it 20 to 14. And it is time for Morgan Bomber to serve. So coming out of the timeout, Crestview unable to come up with the point. It's so imperative that you try and get that momentum after you've taken the timeout. Knights unable to do that. St. Henry, five away from a set one victory. Kennedy Kreider. Well, one official called it in. And the one official hesitated and said, yes, it is in. So that's the call. Eight ball corner pocket for Kennedy Kreider. She used all of the floor to get that one in. And I do believe from up here anyway, it looked like the line judges got that one right. Nevaeh Ross's serve goes into the net. It is 21-15, St. Henry Redskins. And Morgan Baum, or excuse me, Raya Busher will serve. She started to set off with five points from service and really put St. Henry ahead. And she missed a sideline that time. It is 21-16. So back-to-back -back serving airs, one from each team, just puts another point on the board, pushes St. Henry closer to a set one victory. Crestview's got to dig in. Well, I'm going to have to set this one. And Figley, diving effort by Morgan Bomber, but she couldn't control the ball on the well hit set kill. Figley with the kill. A great bump set by Ellie Klein. We mentioned the liberos both ways. They are diverse. They can both set the ball, typically from the bump formation, when needed. Casey Gregory's serve. Fallen camp. It's blocked that time. Couple of nights at the net again. This will be set for Wendell. That's blocked. Follenkamp just tips it that time. Lickley will back set. Best shot's blocked. And it will go out of bounds. Great block yeah. there. I believe it was Follenkamp. Not 100% sure on that one, Coach. But regardless, great net play on both sides of the net. Several blocks. Both coaches saying, I need you guys on that wall. 22-17. And just missing the black line that time was Kreider. No, I'm sorry, was that, went, that was uh, Figley, wasn't it? Addy Figley, and Crestview's had a few kill attempts go long. They've got to get those in. They put it in the right place, Mark. It's just going long. Here's Addy Holman again. Her team needs two to win the opening set. Figley, diving play that time. Bomber. Great job by Morgan Bomber to dig that one out. Busher was there to play that one. Follenkamp. Lickley got to that. And it will be free balled over. Teeman will set. Follenkamp. Just, was, yeah, just did not have the timing down for that one. You could see she was ready for it, but the ball just wasn't quite where she thought it would be. Timing off between she and Tiemann. Crestview with the point. Kowicki serves. Window hits. Yeah, Crestview's got to go on a string here a little bit with St. Henry only two points away from a first set victory. That's a good way to start. I looked at both officials, or all three officials, see if anybody had a call. Teamman will back set this time, and Follenkamp wow. did not miss time that one. Crestview just does not rotate very effectively against the slide play here in the early going. I'm sure Coach Gregory will address that between sets. Brianna Mangins will attempt to serve point number 25 for St. Henry. Figley off two blockers. Busher goes and gets it. Palmer got that one. There's Busher again. Yes, great play by Lickley. Better play by Busher, and again, but she can't save that one. Crestview will score to make it 24-20 with Ellie Klein to serve, and she missed it long. And the opening set 
will go the way of the St. Henry Redskins. They started out 5-0, and they won 25-20. Second set coming up after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. The premier sponsor tonight for the Crestview Knights is Cary Insurance in Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. Our presenting sponsor tonight is First Federal Bank in Van Wert, your community and your bank. Mark Schein, Dave Bowen. Dave was somewhat simplistic, but it started out 5-0 on the service by Rye Busher. It ended up 25-20. Yeah, punch right away by St. Henry. Crestview tried to counter punch, but they just couldn't, uh, couldn't overcome that. Five-point deficit to start the set. I've always told my players, you can never win an, a, a game or set in this situation by jumping out ahead, but you definitely can lose it, and you you got to come back now if you're the Knights. Again, St. Henry finished number two in Division Six in the final state poll. Crestview number nine, and in all sets, St. Henry 52 and 11 now. Crestview 57 and 22. The largest lead in the opening set for St. Henry was 16 to 8. They led by 8 a couple of times, I think, in the opening set. Crestview came back to get it to 21 17, but that was as close as they could get. I guess they got to 23 19, which would also be a four point deficit. And finished up 25 20, and we will have service from Crestview and in the presence of Casey Gregory to start set number two. It's imperative that Crestview gets off to a better start, but Ellie Follenkamp and her teammates will have something to say about that. That was Ellie Follenkamp. Boom. Right on cue. She's up there in the front row to start out a set, and obviously Coach Rosenbach knows what she's doing, and it has been very effective with with Fullenkamp being on that front row to start. Addie Homan will serve to start St. Henry's efforts in set number two. We'll go cross court to Figley. And then off a of blocker, give Fullenkamp another one. Yeah, you give Fullenkamp the kill, but you've got to give Morgan Bomber the, um, or I'm, I'm sorry, that's more, no, Morgan Bomber, a great job with that dig right there, Mark. This time the serve goes out of bounds, and so it'll be 2-1 St. Henry. And in the serve now will be Josie Kowicki. Back set, no, not back set. They ran that play so many times, I thought the ball was going to go to her right. It did not. Yeah. I thought it was going to be yeah. a slide play, but they go to Molly Wendell, but she hits the tape and still has enough power that it goes wide. Crestview ties it up at two. Trying to take their first lead of the evening. <laughs> Bomber. Yeah. What a great play. She was going to let it go. Yeah. And instead she scores. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think this is going to come back to me and I can get my stats with a kill here. Look at the smile she has right yeah. now. She knew she kind of pulled something out right yeah, there. Yeah, the rabbit out of the hat. Yeah, as Brianna Mangin will become the next St. Henry Redskins server. Set. Block. They kept it alive, though. Lickley plays it over. There's your slide There play. it is. And this time she tried to cut it too finely, and we're tied at three. Tied at three. Ellie Fullenkamp did not make that mistake at all in set one. See if Crestview can take advantage. With Ellie Klein to serve, right to Busher. And the line judge looks at the R1, looks at everybody. Nobody had a touch. And this is Crestview's first lead of the evening at 4 3. Coach Gregory team never goes quietly into the night, they are battling after dropping that first set, but there's another point for Fullenkamp. She just rotated out as it was her turn. Play the back row, so she just rotated out. She's replaced in the front row by Carly Busher, who was a second team all-conference player.
Figley. Bomber. That's blocked. There's Bush who just entered the game. Figley again, and she scored. Nice adjustment by Figley to get that one in for her sixth kill on the night, but some great digs out there by Addie Holman for St. Henry and the libero for Crestview, Ellie Klein, in that volley. 5-4. With Figley to serve, skims the top of the net. Balmer. 5-5. Five, five. Her fourth kill on the night. Fullenkamp back in the match. I take that back. That's Miley Kramer. Well, she is as a freshman that I confused with the first team Mac player, senior Ellie Fullenkamp. Wow. I did. I did that earlier. You got the tall. Blonde hair, young yeah. ladies, and we're at the top of the bleachers here. I, I did that earlier, so I fully get where that came from. Here's Lickley to serve. And out of the middle, Morgan Bomber. First team all conference player as a junior. Now she will serve. 202 kills, 23 aces, six assists, 223 digs, and 12 blocks. When these two teams met earlier, she had nine kills in the two-set match that they played. Set. Kreider. They keep it alive, and Klein hits it over. Good defense by the Knights. Can they do it again? And they cannot. Carly Busher's turn to score. Her fourth kill on the night. 7-6. St. Henry. Morgan Bomber. Again, behind the service line. Figley, and she missed right in front of the line judge. 8-6. Tried to go to the corner with it. If it would have been in, Raya Busher was in perfect position to play it, but Busher makes the great decision, the accurate decision, lets it sail wide. It's Henry trying to take a three-point lead. In this set, and unable to score at the net, and that's exactly what they did. This is the first time they've led by three in this particular set. So Crestview, they, they've got to dig in right here. They can't let St. Henry run away and hide. Too tough to come back on. That shot's blocked. Best tried to hit that one over. I believe that block was by Carly Busher. That's her first of the night, 37th on the season, third in that category for her team. Coach Gregory trying to urge her team on to make a play here. And that's going to be an ace brought to you by Burke Petroleum. That's going to be a timeout to 11 the table. 6 will create a timeout. Press you. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our A sponsor this evening is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. And on a service run, St. Henry scores. Enough to make it 11-6. Bush is going to set Wendell, and Wendell will score. Molly Wendell usually hits it hard, but that time the changeup works. And I believe, if my math is correct, it's a 6-0 run right now for St. Henry. Is that what you see, Mark? Well, it's seven. Six serves okay. by Palmer. Uh-huh. Plus the defensive play that got it started. Crestview looked a little bit discombobulated on that play. Absolutely. As, as well as they came out here in the second set to match St. Henry early on, a combination of St. Henry play and Crestview unforced airs has led to this gap now. Morgan Bomber has served seven of those points. It was tied at six when she began her service. And out of the middle with a kill, we'll give that one to Carly Busher. That's the junior second teamer in the max, fifth kill of the night. This is all happening with Addie Figley in the back row. 
for Crestview. And right up in the wheelhouse on the overpass went to Molly Wendell, and it is 15-6, and it is yet another Crestview timeout. Back in a moment, watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard tonight brought to you by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. And Dave, at one point it was 6-5 Crestview. It is now 15-6 St. Henry. A 10-0 run. Coach Gregory has exhausted both timeouts in the middle of this run. Down 11-6, she used her first one, and now this one at 15-6. Palmer served dives over the net. She about got another ace. That has to be softly hit over by Crestview. And out of the middle, that kill attempt was by Carly Busher. Figley sets. McCoy couldn't score. Lickley will set again. McCoy again. Tipped over. Good play that time by Lickley. Good defense by Crestview, yep. but they got a transition. Teeman will set again. And Carly Busher emphatically got a point by banging it off of, off Emily, of Emily Lickley. Lickley yeah. Yes. 16-6. That was the issue there. Crestview was playing great defense, but they couldn't transition to put St. Henry in a tough position defensively. St. Henry remained offensive throughout the volley. Palmer will float serve this time. Out of the middle, Gregory. Tipped over by Kreider. Teeman will set again. Wendell. Figley sets. McCoy hits. And Wendell, free ball. See if Crestview can use it. They cannot. Free ball is in a difficult spot. 17-6. St. Henry putting on a clinic here in the middle of this second set. Set two thirds of this world's covered by water. Crestview thinks the other third is covered by the St. Henry defense. They've been phenomenal. Morgan Bomber, hard serve this time, and she has a Burke Petroleum ace. Her second on the night, give her 25 on the season. 18 6. Nothing Coach Gregory can do to stop the bleeding right now on Crestview's side of the net. She's exhausted her timeouts. Overpass, and that ball rode into Kreider, and she had to illegally contact it. 19-6. Bomber's got to ice her arm when this is over. <laughs> They've got an ice machine here at Van Wert High School. She'll be able to get it. Overpass again, and there is Wendell again. 20-6. For right now, if you're Crestview, let's just get something positive going. For Correct. Last part Correct. of the set and get, get into set three with a little bit better attitude. Better attitude, neutralize momentum. I'm not going to say you're going to get momentum now, but you got to try and neutralize it. They go over on two. Team in set. That ball was hit over by Kramer. McCoy hits, and it hit the antenna. Casey Gregory there, just unable to bring it in from the edge. It hits the candy cane. And Bomber with a 21 to six lead. This was not on my bingo card, oh, but God, all agreed. credit goes to St. Henry. Best hit that ball. Out of the middle is tipped. McCoy hit that one across. Wendell. Figley, and Lickley will set McCoy. Back set, Kramer blocked. Busher sets, Wendell. And Wendell got it up in the rafters and all the way to the back wall. Ooh, they are in total rhythm. 22-6 St. Henry. And Molly. We're checking to see if the antenna is square or not. Gotcha. Molly Wendell's sixth kill on the night. Right now, it's just as though Crestview brought a BB gun to a fight at the OK Corral. You can see Dan Cook taking a look at that. Our R2 
That antenna is supposed to be directly in line with the outside of that line. The sideline over there, and he has just readjusted it. 22-6. Crestview will take any stoppage in play they can get. St. Henry just in total domination right now. Palmer float serves this time. And what do we have? We have a knight in the net. Looks like it was Kennedy Kreider. 23-6. Lickley will set. Tipped out of the middle. Busher sets this time and from behind the 10-foot line. Morgan Bomber scores in a different manner. 24-6. From behind the 10-foot line, Bomber goes off the block of Kreider, set point. <laughs> Bomber serve. Figley from behind the 10-foot line. Crestview momentarily stops the bleeding. Seven kills for Figley now on the night. That one was from behind the 10-foot line. 18 service points. Morgan Bomber set. And with that kill by Carly Busher, set number two will go to the St. Henry Redskins at 25 7. Set three coming up after this. Watch the high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. Our presenting sponsor tonight is First Federal of Van Wert. Your community, your bank, that's First Federal. And our premier sponsor this evening for the Crestview Knights is Cary Insurance in Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. They've been set number two. It was 6-5 Crestview. They got the ball back. And then Morgan Bomber served 18 consecutive points. Yeah, it was like for St. Henry, their favorite song was playing on the radio, and they were all dancing together. It was there in all facets. Defense, offensive execution, outstanding. Coach Gregory, as you can see, has her team still in the huddle, encouraging them to come out and play with heart and determination. One of the neat facets of the uh, game of volleyball is it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You can flush that one down the proverbial porcelain yep. apparatus and just come back and play, try and find something, and see where you can go. Well, it's like match play golf. Yeah. Take, a, take an eight, who cares? Exactly. Let's move on to the next hole. Yeah. Which I could like <laughs> take an eight. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was St. Henry's turn to serve first, and that would mean Raya Busher. But, yeah, we thought Crestview coming out in that second set and matching St. Henry point for point in the early going would be beneficial to them. But, wow, St. Henry just took off and hid. Well, in this rotation, Morgan Bomber will be the sixth server, so they got a while to wait for her to do her magic again. That's blocked, but they keep it alive. And the libero hits it over legally. McCoy hits. That's blocked. Out of the middle, Kreider. No, excuse me, not Kreider. That was McCoy. That's Casey Gregory there with the hit. Wendell rolls it to the middle of the floor. Lickley will set again. Casey Gregory hits. <laughs> Busher makes a play on it. <laughs> yeah. Missed hit by St. Henry, but there's Ryan Busher. And Casey Gregory hit it into the net. Stamina maybe uh -huh. starting to show itself again. St. Henry, bigger bodies, and again, just more artillery coming at Crestview. And that, that volley right there, I think that might have been a result of how St. Henry got the point. That's blocked out of the middle. Really best tried that one. Back set. Good run down that time by Klein to keep that one in play. Fullenkamp. And Ellie scores. That's her 11th kill on the night. 
Early on in set number one, we really noticed her. Now yeah. it's just been somewhat consistent. And again, Teeman has used all of her weapons. Lickley will set, tipped over by Gregory. And Wendell couldn't play that one. St. Henry up 2-1. With Casey Gregory to serve. Good line drive serve from her. Can't miss timed it and still got the ball over. Sure did. Figley. Addy Figley. This is her time in the front row, Dave. They got to go yeah, to her. They got to go to her. Yep. Eighth kill of the night. Wendell hits it off a blocker, plays it up in the air, gets another chance. Dumped over by Lickley. Busher will set to the back row to Bomber. Best shots blocked. 3-2 St. Henry. Molly Wendell with her 10th block on the season. Addie Holman, the freshman, who will serve now for the red and white. Bigley's shot rolls off the net. And the joust of the net is won by Ellie Fullenkamp. Yeah, it was Fullenkamp and Haley McCoy. Haley McCoy's been victorious in that joust against opponents throughout the season, but Ellie Fullenkamp, she comes away with that one. Sir floats over, and that will be a Burke Petroleum ace. That floating serve, as you've referenced it, Mark, it's soft serve. You can get that at Dairy Queen, but St. Henry and Crestview, to a certain extent, has used that effectively into tonight's match. Line drive serve this time. Figley hits to the back row. Wendell. And Klein can't keep it in play on that shot, so it's 6-2 Redskins. Great hustle by Addie Figley. She tries to get back there for it. Comes all the way from the net, unable to do so. But you love to see that tenacity and that effort. Addie Holman has served three consecutive points. And that serve floats into the net this time. It is 6-3 St. Henry. Coach Gregory would like to see her club get a couple points here. Again, just got to hang around. And Josie Kowicki will enter to serve. Set. That shot's blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds. So give Fuller yeah. Camp the kill. That's number 13. Haley McCoy was there, but the power of Fuller Camp went off a couple of arms and out of bounds. And here comes Morgan Bomber. Yeah, absolutely. McCoy had her shoulder square to the net, but Fuller Camp just too much power. And there's Bomber with an ace. Ace is tonight brought to you by Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800 776 3097. Busher got a hand on it to keep it alive. Does that so well. And Morgan Bomber puts the ball to the back row and scores again. 9-3. Kill number seven for Bomber. But, yeah, Raya Busher, that's where kills go to die. And she digs that one out with the one-arm bandit. Bomber serves to the back row. Figley will hit that one and score. Number nine for Figley. 9-4 St. Henry. As Ellie Klein will serve. St. Henry just leaking out a little bit here. Just picking up a couple points here and there. Expanding their lead. Bomber from right around the 10-foot line makes it 10-4. And uh, with that, entering to serve will be Olivia Gast. But before that, Preston will take a timeout. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.
Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. You can visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. 10-4 on that scoreboard in favor of the Redskins. Figley out of the middle. She rolled it across the net, and she got a point for her efforts. Takes advantage of the tape right there to get her 10th kill on the night. And Tammy Gregory took that timeout. Her squad comes out with the first point. As a result, they got to go on a run here, down five. Here's Addie Figley's serve. Back set, hit, right on the line for Carly Busher. 11-5. Dan Minnick emphatic with the call as Carly Busher picks up her eighth kill of the night. Lauren Tiemann, the setter will serve. Busher plays that one. And out of the middle, Carly Busher again. She was a second team all conference player in the MAC this year. Kill number nine, we watch her take advantage of putting the ball into the tape and having it fall harmlessly on the opponent's side. Lauren Tiemann will float a serve over. Rickley will set on the backside. Haley McCoy, and the antenna came down. Now the ball fell in. Yeah, I was gonna say, when did that happen in relationship to Everything else. Trisha Rosenbeck yeah. says, uh, Mr. Cook, you didn't put the uh, antenna up very well the last time when you checked it. Let me do it this time. <laughs> and, and I will tell you, volleyball coaches know how to put nets up in the antennas. They don't have. You know what, Dave? Now, we've got district championship yes. game here, right? Yes. Coming up on Wednesday, on Wednesday night. Day. In basketball, you cut down the net. <laughs> Why don't we cut down the net in a volleyball district championship? Well, if you're an AD, the answer is simple. Yeah. So the price of a basketball net compared to a volleyball net, two different hemispheres. McCoy will roll it over. Set. Hit out of the middle. This is becoming a Carly Busher set. Kill number 10 for Carly on the night. 14 to five. As Lauren Tiemann will serve again. She has 40 aces this year and 665 assists. Lickley will set out of the middle to McCoy, to Busher, Riley Busher, Riley Busher, excuse me, and that kill will go to Miley Kramer. That's her second on the night. And they've got them up 10 again. It's 15-5. to five. And they are in rhythm again. And the serve is out. So it's 15-6. One of the few mistakes that Sanders yes. made in, in two and a half sets of volleyball. A temporary reprieve if you're the Lady Knights. See if you can take it and run with it a little bit. I don't know. This St. Henry squad, they are on Point A tonight. Lauren Tiemann will set Busher. Carly Busher. 16 6. And Morgan Bomber, 5 6 junior, will serve. Good serve. Here's a set. Tipped over with two hands. Well placed ball. Lily Best with the kill. I Picks thought up that's who second. it was. I was hesitating to check a number, but I thought that's who it was. Very good job for her point part there. And Nevaeh Ross will be the server now. Overpass. And that was right up in the wheelhouse of Kennedy Kreider. No, excuse me, that was uh, Haley McCoy. Haley McCoy picks up her second kill on the night. 18-6. One of the few times we've seen some free balls from St. Henry. Excuse me, it's 16-8. Now it is 17-8. And Raya Busher will serve. 324 digs this year in her libero position. First team all-conference player. Fourth in the MAC in that category. Surprised that she's fourth. Block. Ellie Follenkamp. 
That's her 46th kill on the season, and she does lead St. Henry, or excuse me, block, 46 block. She does lead St. Henry in that category. 18-8 as Busher will serve again. That hit was by McCoy, Casey. Free balled over. Out of the middle, trying to push it to an open area was Haley McCoy. And Palmer left it short in the net. Yeah, McCoy tried to find the opening again. St. Henry's defense tonight, it's just been so solid. They were able to pull that one out. They do have the air on the play. Casey Gregory serves. Everybody thought that set was going to go to Follenkamp. Instead, it went to Wendell, and she had a clean shot, and they crushed you pay for it, 19-9. Number four in red picks up kill number seven. Number seven behind the service line in Addie Homan. To Klein. Really best. Follenkamp on the short set. It was blocked, but it stayed on the Crestview side of the net. So it's 20 to 9. And Crestview will take a timeout. They trail 20 to 9 on our Loudix Jewelry scoreboard. We are pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple TV. So, Mr. Bowen, this week you have a big Western Buckeye League football game, don't you, Wapak? Trying to run the table against a good Salina team. Yeah, excited to see Salina and Wapak get after it on the gridiron Friday night. Uh, Wapak has won the WBL, and it'll be fun to see what they put on display. And Salina, they're still playing for well, a while they are. Yeah. with playoff implications. They are. I will be at Bath this weekend as their aerial attack will att play the ground game from St. Mary's. Yeah, Saint would Mary's, you say you have two contrasts? Well, St. Yeah, Mary's we're did throw go two passes last <laughs> week. I mean, uh, they, two they passes. were just an aerial attack from those guys. Yeah, above their average. <laughs> it is 20 to 9, St. Henry. Both of these teams have important games this weekend, football wise, too. Absolutely, yes. Busher will set. Wendell will roll that one over. Good reaction play that time by Haley McCoy to keep it alive. And then Best has to free ball it over. Wendell again. They've done that a couple times in this set. Molly Wendell goes with the soft kill right there. Finds the hole in the middle. Picks up her eighth kill on the night. 21-9, St. Henry. Four points away from a district final on Wednesday night. Best. Did that stay inside? Wow. wow, what a play. Wow, the freshman, Addie Holman. Addie Holman ran that one down, got a hand on it, whacked it across inside the antenna and scored. Picks up her eighth kill on the season, but the whole St. Henry bench was up and cheering her on, and de deservedly so. It's what happens when you don't give up on a play. Correct, you know? yes. Figley. Wendell, off a block, but right there is Lickley. Klein will set this time to McCoy, to uh, Gregory. Tip to an open spot. That will score by Follenkamp. It is 23-9. 15 kills for Follenkamp. Coldwater won our first district semi tonight. They left at the end of the second set. They watched St. Henry put on that display in the second set. Didn't need to watch this third one. They know they're going to have their hands full. There's a Burke Petroleum ace. And what's proving to be a very valuable service point for one Addie Holman. She is now set to serve to put her team in the district finals. Holman. Set. Figley. Not yet. 24-10. Addie Figley with her 11th kill of the night. Crespi has just been unable to get her the ball consistently throughout the match, and you got to give all the credit to St. Henry. Josie Kowicki serves. Teeman will set. Follenkamp, it's blocked. It's blocked right on the line. 
Haley McCoy picks up the block. 24-11. This would be a comeback of epic proportions, Mark. Palmer. Wendell. Roll shot. Figley. Block a kill for Addie Figley, 24-12. Kill number 12 for Figley. And again, Kawicki to serve. 5-5 five, five senior. Back set. No, Wendell right down the middle. And Molly Wendell, who had a huge fifth set, or third set, excuse me, put that one away, and her team will take a 25-12 win. And Dave, I did not expect this, but I'm, I'm really impressed with how well St. Henry played this evening. Yeah, as we said in the pregame, St. Henry just fundamentally sound. Well, they are fundamentally sound with a lot of talent, and they had everything working tonight. Crestview had no answer, and understandably so. St. Henry would take on anybody in the state with the way they played tonight. And now they're going to get the opportunity to go against Coldwater, a team that they fell to on Coldwater's home court, 3-0. to zero. That second set, they were very, very close to giving, at that time, Saint, or Coldwater their first set loss of the year. Unable to do so, Coldwater wins 3-0. to zero. We have ourselves set up for a dandy on Wednesday uh, night. A disappointing night, I'm, I'm sure, for the Crestview Knights, but still a season where they were 19-5. and five and they were 7-0 winners of the NWC. Northwest Conference champions, their 23rd Northwest Conference championship. Coach Gregory's real pleased with that, and this is a team that she has just been happy with how the chemistry has been there all year long, and they just came up short tonight. Too much talent on the other side of the net. St. Henry will go to that district championship game at 6 o'clock on Wednesday evening. They are 20-4 and four now, 8-1 and one in the MAC. Dave and I will be here for that. It will air on Thursday evening. Thank our scoreboard tonight. That's uh, Loudix Jewelry. A sponsor tonight was Burke Petroleum. Our presenting sponsor was First Federal of Van Wert. And our premier sponsor this evening for Crestview was Carey Insurance. Thank the athletic director here, Mr. Trent Temple. Appreciate all he did for us. Jacob O'Neill did the camera work and audio work here in Van Wert. And Nick Fraley will edit this all together for you back on Beatty Road. St. Henry moves to the finals on Wednesday evening. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.